No, I, I really feel that, you know, the question is not whether the commanders can run faster than me because the answer is no. It's whether or not they can run faster <laughs> than her. <laughs> wow! Wow, oh, so sick, so sick! <laughs> can your grandmother run faster than them? This is your daily catch-up. Daily catch-up. Hey guys, so in our episode last week, we spoke about the COVID-19 situation here in Singapore and how some people were slightly frustrated about the lack of instructions. Uh, we found out more information and more information we put out there as well, uh, that home recovery is the default for most of us. So do familiarize yourself with um, the information and we've even included the link in the box below. So check it out. So we have two very special guests uh, today. We have the national record holder for many, 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 many things. Uh, but he also broke the uh, national man uh, seven minute barrier. I don't know what you call it, lah. Uh, Mr. Soreyong. Recently and broke the internet also. And, and the spirits of we a lot of people. also have the first Singapore woman to uh, do a two point four km under eight minutes. Vanessa Lee. Yeah. So essentially, Singapore's fastest people. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh my god! I'm so honored yeah. to be sitting here. Yeah. They are superheroes, eh, basically. <laughs> essentially, essentially. Yeah. So actually, I'm very curious. Like, running. Which Doesn't is a dreadful thing, right? Yeah. Like, how do you even get into it? I was in the running CCA in secondary school because, you know, CCA trials are... Right. You know, going to do this, do that, do this, do that. But the, the cross-country teacher spotted me and then, like, kind of roped me in into yeah. the CCA. You got a build, lah. You're, like, 80% limbs. <laughs> <laughs> po possibly, possibly. But there was a trial, like, around, around school. The, the funny thing is that... Because it was called a cross-country trial. So... Uh -huh. They say it's one loop around school. I didn't know you're supposed to go outside the school gate, come one round and then come back through the school gate on the other side. I thought, instead of exiting the school gate, I went to run onto the grass. Ah. Right. Who I thought is... Which is a bigger circle country, actually. Yeah. No, no, it's a smaller circle. Oh, oh, oh. But then I run a bit, then they say, oh, actually wrong direction. So I had to come back. Then, actually I was first, I become like fifth or whatever. Right. So I catch back until second. So I think that maybe from there, the, the teacher was like, actually this guy not bad, put him on the, right. on the team. Well, the guy that beat you though. <laughs> he was also on the team. Yeah, yeah. so we were teammates. Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> but now is he still running though? I don't think so. But he can forever be the guy that said that I, I ran faster yeah. than him. <laughs> <laughs> I ran faster than him. He damn slow. Then what about you? Okay. Like how do you yeah. how do you get into running? I was from Tajokatong Girls School, right? And then back then Shout they don't out. have <laughs> Yeah, they don't have like a track team or cross country team like uh, during my time. So basically, I was in the music city mm. and then like they always have this annual cross country uh, event. Apparently, I broke a school record kind of thing. <laughs> One of my PE teachers, like, he saw a lot of like potential in me just because I broke a school record. Then he took people from different CCAs and put a team together uh, so that he could send a team and, and me to national cross countries. Okay. Yeah, and I got fourth placing for uh, national cross countries uh, B division. Yeah, and then from there, I got scouted to VJC. Mm. Yeah, and that's where I started training seriously in JC. To put it in context, uh, like she got fourth in the whole of Singapore without training. Right. This oh, called that. Okay, okay, okay. From my division. Okay. Like, like I trained since sec one, and when I was sec four, I got fourth. At, right. At national no, and this guy got 730 in NS in his 20s. And then now when he's 30, he broke a national record. He only improved by 30 seconds. <laughs> Very slow rate of improvement. <laughs> yeah, 3 seconds per year. Right? <laughs> Unlike me. And then 2 years, I shave 5 minutes. <laughs> Wait, sorry. How do you get to representing Singapore in running? Like, is it you must go in like, Hello, hi, I'm here. I, I want to represent Singapore. Or do they scout you? Is the government scout going to? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, actually, because we always have like track meets and all these kind of things, right? So like, these are like the SAA organized one. And then you have electronic timing. So it's like sanction, sanction-ish. Basically, you just get a result. Right. Yeah, and then because running quite black and white, right? It's like yeah. if they say the standard to qualify out, for C games, let's say it's like let's say for five k, maybe for the ladies it could be eighteen minutes mm. or seventeen thirty, whatever it is. If she runs seventeen thirty, then she's on the team. Oh. If you right. don't run seventeen thirty, then you're not selected. Oh. It's very it's very black and white. Right. right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So uh, very very happy to have you guys here, um, Mr. Soyoung especially Mr. because yeah. you've been uh, you've been in the news recently, lah, for many many things. Um, <laughs> including issuing a challenge. Uh. I mean, it started off with like calling out certain people and then it has now become a Pokari. Okay, I'll challenge. be honest with you, when I first read that post, right, I thought it was damn arrogant. I think, uh, <laughs> no, I think you're, you're not wrong to get that impression because the open challenge was made in response to some of these people. I mean, like... Ah, uh, what happened there? So, okay, so naturally, after we, we ran the 2.4k, this was all like, you know, first of all, it was like a record-breaking attempt. 
Mm. And then, of course, like Pokari put on the event, so you want some publicity if the event goes well. So mm. the event went well, you know, the official results was taken by Singapore Athletics, uploaded. And then I think 90% of the response was quite positive. Like, it, went, mm. it went quite viral. People were like, you know, like, oh, wow, congratulations. Like, wow, like, lady can run under eight minutes, man can run under seven minutes. Like, this has never been done before or proven, like, you see. Mm. But you have your 10% of, I don't know what you want to call them, trolls or, or, As well as or, noisy or, or uh. nonsense talkers. I know they came forward and said, hey, like, under seven, like, very, very good, man. Like, you know, last time I came, got people can consistently <laughs> run. <because laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then somehow they smoke. And I think a good deal of these comments, like mentioned the commandos, I say, hey, yeah. hey, no big deal, uh, commandos can run below seven like any day of the week. Because the split showed that pretty much every lap was below 70 seconds. Mm. And so it's like one zero something per lap. 70 la. seconds. So, I, I mean, yeah. it's difficult la, you know, to run below 70 seconds even for one lap. So mm. never mind six laps. So I just want to show that, you know, <laughs> talking nonsense, la, yeah. super, okay. it's not something that know half your army camp can do or, mm. or like or, 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 or without, especially without especially without like proper like endurance training right yeah you have to train at that pace so it's not that easy why and how do you get to issuing the challenge some of the commandos took issue with the word commandos that i use so they felt that i was challenging their their status as and masculinity yeah no really it felt <laughs> like that yeah I, so there was this one commando i think he went to <laughs> screen, oh, screenshot it yeah. put it on his on, on his wall and then circle that Circle right. that line and then like, wow, oh, this guy is effing arrogant, la, don't know what, right, right, right. Right, right. he's insulting the all commandos, da, 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 da. so he used it to like stir. La. How I, did you and your sponsors feel at that point? I mean, when I saw that happening, I was like, wow, like they take so much offense at this. Yeah. Okay, I, I find a way to turn it into, I mean, I always try and find everything that happens negatively as a chance to But you, you felt like something good at that point of time? It's not that I felt attacked, I was just like, huh, how did they like take it so negatively? Like, yeah. like it's so it was not, not targeting them. To it's not target, to no, create it's, a marketing no, exactly. drama. It's, it's not targeting them at all. Of course, if it was, it'd be so genius though. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, no, but you cover purposely put commando. Yeah, yeah. Right. No, it's commando because I hear it. Because I hear, yeah, I, yeah. I, I hear it. So that was the nature of how it happened, the origins of it. And then, okay, so they, they power on to the post, you know, they were like, well, no, like, yeah, what's so good about this sub seven? You know, like last time all of us, our yeah. camp got a lot of people can run sub seven. So I got fed up. Like, I said, wow, well, now, now that they're not just taking offense. They're like, they are like doubling down on the claim that oh, yeah. a lot of commanders can run sub seven. Like, okay, like, open challenge. Like, you all come next so you call your sponsor and, and say no 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 this has nothing to do with my sponsor it's right. just it's just me right 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 yeah it's just me i don't just change the commander i change anyone you all come down next month you all run sub seven i pay you 700 bucks and i buy you 700 bottles of bukari i was actually thinking in my head like well i'd be scared to offend commandos like all commandos like scared what like, like they, 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 they attack me la, but then i forgot that he can outrun he probably can just run away <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, it's crazy. I remember my fastest batch boy was like 7.30 and he was a god already. Mm. He was a trainee then. Yeah, I remember the, the number 7.30. Yeah. Yeah. 7.30 is like the, the highest I've ever heard. Yeah, believable la, 7.30 is 30-ish. Wait, so sorry, for, for a normal human being, right? Like, how hard is it to get under 7? Like, it's not easy. Yeah, for normal human being, right? Like, how hard is it to get under 7? I mean, I never ran under 7 and I've been in track for like 18 years. So, yeah, it takes a certain degree of training, I guess. What's your 2.4 timing? No? Yeah. It's the Your. 7 seven minutes 59 seconds. Uh. 7 minutes 59 seconds. Uh. First Singaporean woman to, to break 8. Under 8. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Under 8 minutes. Oh, only person in this room to... <laughs> only? <laughs> <laughs> only, okay, yeah. Besides, besides, uh, besides you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, make sure you're like the fastest person really in Ghana once for the year. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I really feel that, you know, the question is not whether the commanders can run faster than me because the answer is no. It's whether or not they can run faster than her. <laughs> right. Wow! wow. wow. So sick, so sick! Wow. I can't wait eh! <laughs> they got, got people that you feel like maybe got a chance, would? I uh, honestly think it's okay. Like, I believe some guys really can run like under it. If they train hard enough lah, it's just that if you want to find someone that runs under seven, it's very, 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 yeah. Honestly, we, be, we go through a, like, a lot of shit every day. Like, we train very, very hard every day. Yeah, and people don't have the same kind of training. No, but is it shared or not? Because, like, I mean, you guys really train super hard. You guys achieve so much. You hit all these records and stuff like that. But then there are people who are still, like, giving you flat. Well, I think I got them triggered. Like, honestly, <laughs> I, see, I see a lot of positive comments. But that one is like, okay, you know, you can like, oh, thank you. Yeah, and then like your... <laughs> You're like, okay, yeah, yeah, I did a good job, you know? But then like, when I see people commenting on his post, right? Like the, those kind of like, wow, my BNT mate can run faster, that kind of mm. thing, and then run un under like six minutes. I'm like, 
this fucking bullshit. <laughs> 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 fucking idiots. Yeah, then it's like, because it's so unrealistic. Speaking of social media keyboard warriors, like, I think, I, I saw one of the posts that you came out in, like, in defense of Vanessa also, because, like, people were calling you out for, like, like some really stupid stuff like oh the no. stuff like what you were wearing when you run or like like your what physical happened? looks what, what do you get oh, when i was racing i wore like a uh, racing bun which is like it looks like underwear uh-huh yeah oh, it's called racing it, bun. it doesn't look like underwear like it's professional athletes attire so like i thought you were gonna say professional athletes underwear so <laughs> <laughs> quite cool okay she just ran sub eight yeah She's and that's what you're focused on right fastest lady in Singapore to ever run a 2.4k mm. and instead of talking about her result so this lady Jack Teo probably a fake account maybe it's not I don't know she was like oh like why is this girl wearing like skimpy underwear or whatever right. like ask her to set a better example for the younger girls and I think that's part that's about <laughs> really really set me off like I was like oh bloody like right. I, I don't think it's uh, polite to use the word boomer la, because I, I, do, I do I do think that a lot of so-called boomers do know that this is professional athletes attire. You watch yeah. the Olympics, they run in this attire. A sport also in Singapore where it's hot, mm. you should be wearing this attire. You should be wearing whatever you're comfortable in. I think it's very toxic la, because yeah, initially yeah, yeah. when, like, okay, my, my sister also wears this to, to compete. Mm. Vanessa initially had some qualms about wearing it because she, right. I think she's scared what people will say. Right. So, so you had a feeling no, already. Because like nobody else wore it and like we have it so like why not use it right it's, it's yeah. professional athletes attire and obviously like singapore being conservative and everything and because everybody else was not wearing it i was a bit scared to wear it and honestly when i first wore it right everybody said mm. right yeah but then after a while i just i just got comfortable la. and also because like uh, uh, like when, when do you should everybody step we should you felt everyone step the first time i wore it do you think they were staring because you're wearing it or because it's you? Yeah, because you're damn fast. Yeah, because <laughs> or you just look good in general. Because I, I do think that okay, part. Of, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, I, I do think that part of it is like she's worried that people like she feels people are staring at her because of the diet. Right. But I don't think it you're is. You're projecting that. Yeah. Right. Maybe 10, 20 percent, but not right. not not everyone. Would that mean you not wear that in the next race? No, uh, no, I'm very comfortable with it. Yeah. So I, I think like it's it's just maybe. It's all so in strange, head, or. Like, like, y'all work so hard to be an elite athlete, like bring glory to country and family. Mm. Then people will be obsessed about no, it, it, your, yeah. your shorts too small. Like, like even, <laughs> the, even on the... Yeah, in, basically, yes. Yeah, yeah, very accurate. Yeah, like even in the Olympics, like I think they were complaining about how like some beach volleyball teams weren't wearing like the usual... I mean, it looks like bikini outfits. So it's not like it's a two-piece. But some of them, they were covering up more. And then a they got seg- penalized, right? Yeah, yeah. Like a segment of, of Europeans also were saying like, hey, why are they covering up and things like that? And like, I mean, whether or not you're on any side of the fence, like, why are you commenting on attire <laughs> when yeah. it's like yeah, the performance and the ability? No, but it was the opposite. I it think was the opposite. The yeah. professional attire was more was, was, was more was revealing. More skinny, yeah. Yeah. No, but either way, you shouldn't focus on what they're wearing. Exactly. Yeah, la, exactly, exactly. Maybe they're scared their viewership drop. Uh. So they no, like, that has to be it. <laughs> <la. That laughs> why else do we watch volleyball? Okay, 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 okay. Sure, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't watch volleyball. <laughs> Just lost all your volleyball. <laughs> He's the one that you ask him what's the score, he say who cares. <laughs> <laughs> love, love. But I've run a full marathon and I hated myself for it. <laughs> I did it like, basically when I was 11, 12, Age I normally go to. Uh-huh. Uh, where I tell stories. I, I, I used to run a lot. And so I did my first 10km at the Stan Chart Marathon. Mm. And then I think I got a decent time. La, like when I was 11, I was like maybe 54 seconds, uh, fifty-four minutes or something like that. I just thought, okay, la, I'm going to end up running a marathon. There was an age limit at that point in time, so I couldn't do a full marathon. That was when I was still living in Malaysia. When I came to Singapore, I was so adamant that this was my fresh restart, right? I don't want to typecast myself, you know. I don't want to come to new school and be the runner. <laughs> or like, I gave up like photography, so I didn't want to be like the photographer, you know. So just stupid things that you think about. <laughs> so, so I only wanted to keep my cool hobby, so I kept the guitar. That's it. Yeah. Then you'll be known as the guitarist, what? Yeah, which was also bad, <laughs> la, so I was stuck in the end. Yeah. So, fast forward to 2019, where I'm like the most unfit of my life, right? Someone invited me to like a fun run, like a 5km fun run, really no price, nothing, just run for fun, right? And I was so bad, like, it took so long, and I just thought, what the fuck, last time I could do like 10km when I was 11 or what? Like, I'm going to train for a marathon. This was in June, right? And then stand chart is in December. I thought that I could do it in five hours because that was my aunt's time. My aunt's like 50 years old and she always does like four or five hours, right? Yeah. 
I ended up doing like seven hours. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking long, my god. I think no, my time was six hours fifty minutes. And it's yeah. night time, there's no one there already. Like I the think the organizers are there already. <laughs> there's one person, you know they have rows of like medals because people yeah. just keep running through, right? One guy left on one station just waiting for the medalist to like come in. Oh my god. I remember running, I think it was like only 7 km, right? And now I was just like, dude, what the fuck do you sign up for yeah. this? Yeah, this damn dumb. And then fast forward, like I think last week I just decided I wanted to do it again. <laughs> Ah, yeah, it's so addictive. You don't learn. I feel like you don't learn. <laughs> you don't learn at all, yeah. But I did it for the wrong reasons. I feel like I only did it because I wanted to have a medal. I think I watched like football, right? Like Liverpool won the Champions League, then they all got medals. I'm like, I'm never going to be a sports person. How am I ever going to win a medal? And I thought, hey, they got marathons, so they give medals to like everyone yeah. who completes a uh, marathon. So I just ah. said, I can help you <laughs> right now. Okay, <laughs> so the first time I actually met Ray Yong, right? was when we were working with uh, the, my previous company uh. and we actually got him to train us because we wanted to try attempting a marathon for the first time. Uh. And <laughs> okay, no, so, the, the, so we did train, right? Yeah. And what happened was that on the actual marathon itself, right? I couldn't take it at all. I was like dying. Like, I think I, I did maybe like five, five, seven kilometers. Like, I'm dying already. Huh. I want to give up already. So halfway through, like all the, all the other people that are training with us already disappeared already. You know? <laughs> I'm, I'm just like, I walk a bit. Then I'm very annoyed because I'm not going to walk the whole thing. Right? It's like, how many kilometers? Yeah? So I was looking, looking for a shortcut. Then I saw, hey, oh, the half marathon is this oh, way. Short- yeah. oh, oh my God. This is the half marathon route. So I, yeah. I split off. So I go to the half marathon way. Then I, then I continue. And then I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I see the end already. So I run, I, I pick up my pace. You know, at the end, got a lot of people, right? Yeah. So you don't want to look like uh, you're you walking. To the end, yeah. <laughs> so like, okay, well, I perform a chest, I'll run properly. <laughs> Next, I'm going to the end, right? Then they start to announce, oh, and there's another Singaporean coming in. They're like, huh? <laughs> they say my name or my, my tech number. Oh my They're god! Like, what, are they announcing everybody? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> then the people start to use the thing and push me to the, 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 the full marathon route. Yeah, right. Then I enter, right? And basically, they thought I completed the full marathon because I, I was still wearing the full marathon tech. Correct, correct. Yeah. <laughs> so I was one of the fastest Singaporeans <laughs> and I got my medal. <laughs> Do you beat the timing, you think? No, right, right. <laughs> no, I didn't scared of this, yeah. If I beat all the records, right? Yeah, let me go into the national books. They call this four so what's your official time then? I don't know, I don't know. But yeah, if you want a medal. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't like hacks. So based on that marathon experience, right, I never run again. I, I really don't like running. You didn't even <laughs> run a full marathon? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I really can't take it, yeah. You didn't even do it once, yeah. please don't get it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I got a medal too. <laughs> that says otherwise. So to address the elephant in the room, because it'll be weird we don't talk about it, given that we have Ryong here with us. Uh, not so, me, I'm not the elephant in the room. <laughs> But you don't run, you seem like it. Uh, what? Wow, that was quite unnecessarily. Yes, yeah. You see, I decided you just attack the whoever. <laughs> <laughs> Horrible. Then. But uh, as of when you're watching this, uh, a couple of days ago or last week, um, there was a, a verdict. So obviously, there's a the whole uh, you and Ashley you, Liu like case, like, right? I might be getting the details wrong, but uh, to recap for everyone, there was a there was a race that you guys had. Uh, a couple of you guys, including yourself, took a wrong turn. Mm. Ashley continued on the wrong along the right path. And then when you guys came back, uh, you guys overtook him and then he finished like 7 or 8 along those lines. And then he received a special award because um, according to the story, he slowed down for everyone to like catch up. According to him lah, yeah. According yeah. to him. And then, uh, but you dispute that. And so then he basically... Um, Suit you for defamation. Defamation, mm. essentially. Mm. Yeah, I think, I think that's essentially it. Um, I cannot comment on the case directly. Mm. I will say that whatever I've said is publicly ventilated already sure. and I stand by everything that I said. I mean, we will be appealing the, the judgment. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I appreciate the support that comes in. Obviously, it's not an easy time. I mean, this is mm. not the worst thing in the world, like, honestly. It's, it's, a, it's a judgment that can be appealed and I've confidence oh, that... This is not the worst thing in the world. Like. Okay, context. Yeah. He's been ordered to pay $180,000. Yeah, that's the, that's the... That's not the worst thing in the world. Worst thing in the world is training. <laughs> 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 yeah, so, so that's so that's the verdict lah. But of, of course, we are putting the verdict. Um, yeah. Personally, I don't agree with it, but we will appeal it, and I feel that we can see eventually. Yeah, a how the, how they even add up the hundred and eighty k? Yeah. Okay, you cannot comment. I mean, comment. Yeah, I, I cannot comment. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, you're you the know, lawyer now. So you right? can draw your own conclusions, lah. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll just all. I'm just freaking out because, like, I mean. To be defamed, there must be some level of reputation, I feel. Or damages, like, right? Yeah. But I never heard of this guy. Before. I only heard of this guy because of this lawsuit. Yeah. <laughs> 108,000 reputation. Actually, he done him a lot of favours. Like, you increase his yeah. limelight. No, I, <laughs> oh, I you don't get sued, though? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I do 108,000 jokes on you. No, is he actually, like, a prominent uh, figure in in sports? I, I know him because we, we, we were on, obviously in the same race. Yeah. 
But if I was a runner, I don't know whether I'll know him or not. Lah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. What was the point of him waiting for you? He can't... Well... You cannot comment. Oh, sportsmanship. I mean, that's the story. Oh, of course, you all need to finish as a team, is it? <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> he, he took the right path and then like, people took the wrong path. Including why why so did like, you all take the oh. wrong path again? The no, sign not clear. It wasn't, yeah, it wasn't luck. Oh. Yeah, it wasn't luck. So it's the organizer's fault? Uh? You can say that. Yeah. Okay. Just, yeah, but he you cannot, cannot completely but he cannot. endorse that. You can, but you can say it though. Yeah, the organizer. Uh, from the runner needs to win the race. Oh, this is the thing. Then you all go and don't know how to put the sign properly. Bloody hell. I mean, I mean, this, all this is reported already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My, my biggest question is maybe you commented about this before already. I think it's about you know upholding like your values and things like that, right? Mm. But like, why go through so much when, like. Like he can just keep quiet, right? Yeah. yeah. Like okay, not like, like he, it will change the result. He, he won the award, yeah. but you you still won the race. It's not like he went and win the race. So like, why pursue this so hard? I mean, I I've already ventilated that, but I can't comment on it again. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Fair enough. Oh, Fair enough. Okay, okay. No, no, then no, then no, might, okay. I mean, my reasons have already been given yeah. as mm -hmm. to why la. It's already out there. I cannot I cannot be talking about it on air. Okay. Okay. Sure. So you can then, you can then, you can Google and find. Really, okay. <laughs> okay. But I got a question. Why he need to get the award la, for slowing down? I don't Sportsmanship. Know. I, I, don't, I, I didn't know such an award existed. Yeah, so they, they yeah. just basically the organization just made it up for him. <gasps> it's another award I can win. It, it, I mean, slowing I mean, down you, can you give you an award. Sport, award. <laughs> this still thing we can compete. Yeah, yeah, we slow yeah, down for awards. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> but I think, yeah, I think essentially, of course, not a good situation to be in. Let the legal process take its place. But in the meantime, it's just annoying lah because you know it, it's like on the internet, right? So the internet trolls who like you know send like you know mm. like that comment. I think it's kind of stuff. coupled with like when you issue the challenge at time. I think it was yeah, not yeah, represented it was, very well, right? So some yeah, people one thing after another like, proud, yeah. the other the other group were feeling like, hey, this guy a bit howlian. Mm. And then coupled with this one, I feel like that's where that whole backlash is. When you issue challenges like that, you have to be prepared lah. So going back to, to, to the defamation suit. Okay, right? so the defamation suit report obviously came after the challenge. So like yeah. kind of sweet, sweet timing. Like, I mean, we, we actually don't know when the defamation verdict will right. be out, you know. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Honestly, I expected maybe a few months down the road, but then it, it, it suddenly is like coming right. out today. Yeah. Suddenly yeah. it's here. Okay, so like I said. And you wait in pause. Oh. Yeah, exactly. I, 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 I think it, it is what it is. Mm. So I was saying that, you know, sometimes people like, when you are of a certain level of success, people can't wait for you to lose. Mm -hmm. I think there's in, there's quite a bit of tall poppy syndrome here in Singapore. I mean, freaking Grab CEO buys a house and people are complaining mm. that, yeah, hey, yeah. like, oh, this is where our money is going. He's buying our Hey, dude, it's his own money. Yeah. Like, you go and start a company, then you make money, you can buy your own house. I mean, yeah. there's, there's not a problem with that. So, like, envy for success. Yeah, yeah. And I can assure you that if he gets into trouble or for whatever reason, may no fault of his own, people are going to be celebrating. So, I think on my end, people have been waiting for me to lose for quite a while. And I haven't really, like, failed at running for... Like quite a while, a number of years. Like this this setback, obviously those people who have been waiting a long time to like, you know, like get their hands mm. uh, on the keyboard took this as a chance to come. But all of these are fake accounts, la. so it's also like yeah. you know, you like you see an account that, that says stuff that's not that's not nice and probably not very accurate, so you click on it and then it's like You don't need to entertain, la. don't, don't waste your energy yeah. 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 Your sponsor got scared. Not? Your sponsor got to tell you what the fuck you're doing. <laughs> well, Pokari I think <laughs> I think that my sponsors who work with me, they already, I mean, they believe in what I do. Mm. I mean, whenever something like that happens, we also have a chat and they they see things from my point of view. And of course, on my end, I also try to not be too controversial for the brand. Yep, yep. But sometimes, you know, it is what it is. But they already know what I, you are I, like. I think, yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. they, they know the background of maybe this case or whatever. Mm. And they are yep. willing to still support. I mean, honestly, this one has nothing to do with Pokaris, yeah. right? whether yeah. or not the yeah. verdict is for or against. It has nothing to do yeah. with it. Of course, the, the keyboard warriors will try and turn it against uh, yeah. so they, they will like tag your sponsor and stuff like oh, uh, fake accounts like, you know? uh, okay, fair So enough. you're trying to then, appeal it, right? Yes, yes, that's the thing. Are we hopeful? Uh, I mean, yes, If I would say not hopeful, don't bother lah. But right. I mean, I, no, I, I, I know what we need to do. I know you do 180 like, grand, you yeah. just try your best. <laughs> <laughs> no, speaking of the 180 grand, right, like, what, what stood out was that if you look at other defamation suits, like the Lee Sien Long case, for example, right? It's like it's hundred thousand in general damages, thirty three thousand aggravated damages to a total of hundred thirty three thousand dollars. Yeah, this and that's one, Lee Sien Long, right? And this Lee Sien Long, the Who's prime minister. Again? But <laughs> the, the sum is hundred twenty thousand for general damages, sixty thousand for like it's more than what Lee Sien Long is like getting mm. for his damages, for his reputation, for his reputation. 
which really seems very off lah. Who this Liu guy? Do you know how they count his money or not? You cannot say. I, I, I mean, I don't know how lah. Honestly, I don't know how this number was arrived at. Like, for example, uh, maybe he had like a sponsorship deal which he lost. Then I have a sponsorship no, no, deal with 100 grand. I, I don't believe that was the case. Right. Yeah. I don't believe that. At least, that's not... What? You what, don't know, what, basically. That's not the case that he was he presented or I'm, that I'm aware of. La. What do you guys think about the, the whole conversation and debate around Olympians and Paralympians being paid out different amounts? Or the call mm. for people to be paid the same? Like, for them to be paid the same? Okay. I just want to put it very clear. I'm friends with our top Paralympians, mm. Yip Yip Hin Siu. I've met her multiple times yeah. in the gym. She's a yeah, she's incre- so incredibly we, we, we love the Paralympians. inspirational, nice yeah. person. No, I want to point out that the we are putting them well. on the spot by asking this question. Yeah. But okay, la, but let's get the truth. La. If not, what's the point, right? Yeah, so... Don't give me the PG answer. Yeah. <laughs> We're really you know cool. Me, since since when I give PG answer? Uh, we don't know. <laughs> but let's talk here, maybe she will. I'm thinking about it, thinking about it. Okay, la, it's... Yeah, the difference in payout is also because like the Olympics is for everyone to participate but Paralympics like um, they have different assessments and I feel like sometimes the assessments for the Paralympians to be put into a certain category can be very subjective and like right. it could be it could be like faked to a certain extent like we'll, we'll never know lah we'll never know but like it's just that sometimes when it's that subjective then when you win in your category, it's not as... It's not as... I think the right word to describe what you're saying is prestige. So, okay, honestly, I agree with Vanessa. I think she was a bit apprehensive to share this view because it's not necessarily the most popular view. Mm -hmm. I think it's very easy to say. Give them the same. Olympics, Paralympics should be the same. Equal value, equal rights, or all these things. But if you really break it down, the Olympics is for everyone. It's open to everyone, Mm. best in the world. When you come down to the... Paralympics is not so straightforward, you know, it's like the, the number of people you compete against It's mm-hmm. not like the Olympics where, for example, there are 50 something swimmers in Joseph Schooling's event at the Olympics I think it might be very different for the Paralympics, maybe yeah. 10? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know. Yes, men, women, but within each event, for example, the swim like 100 meter freestyle, right? You have a few different categories mm. Like I saw a dude that, it was a ping pong thing, I, to, to be honest, when I first saw it, I thought it was quite funny. I mean, but busted, right? Respect to the athletes. No, I, I don't, but I don't I see how it's fair about. when one person with one hand playing ping pong, which kind of, I mean, okay lah, it's a whole body activity, but you really need the one hand lah, right, to work. And then the other person is playing with the mouth fair. How is that fair? Yeah. Like, you don't even, you cannot even smack, yeah. you know? Like, the other dude can only like, return. Smack. Best case scenario, they return the, the ball. Who won in the end? Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> dude, the hand lah, dude! <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Because maybe the guy the no, mouth is no, 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 no. I I think I think if I play against a ping pong player it would be funny because he would be, like the like Paralympic ping pong player play with the mouth, I think he can beat me. Oh, yeah. That'll be funny, you know? Oh. Funny at my expense, lah, but you know, these people are incredibly skilled. Yeah. We despite their disability. It's a celebration of human spirit. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Paralympics kind of rides off the back of the Olympics. And I don't mean that in a demeaning way. But if there wasn't the Olympics, do you think people would pay attention to Paralympics? Mm. Even now with the Olympics, like you It'd can be see, quite distasteful, right? Actually, if there's no it Olympics, actually feels a bit, and then the whole world just organize and put yeah. um, disabled people for a competition. It feels like it's a circus, game show. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, I don't say circus. <laughs> I'm not ready to make it look <laughs> so like yeah, yeah. I, 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 read I feel like your stomach went. Your appetite for drama, we all not sick. Yes, yeah. I like to sleep, right? <laughs> <laughs> this guy fucking trying to put circus in my mouth. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the Paralympics, there are many different categories also. So it's not just disabled, but how disabled are you? Yeah, like I didn't know he, he was bringing up just now that um, low no, low IQ, IQ is also, a... Yes, yeah, so yeah. Okay, like, this one, some of you are laughing, huh, bastard, but low oh, IQ is... <laughs> you are fucking laughing. <laughs> low IQ can be considered a mental disability and that gets you eligibility to take part in Paralympics. Right. Yeah, so for example, some athletes may have had brain damage from a sickness or high fever or whatever when they were younger. And... Oh, that's different lah. Brain damage to be different lah. But if but you just say low, 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 low IQ. Yeah, the assessment is on IQ. So it's if you are honestly is born like... with low IQ? I don't know. John, you try ah. John Paul. <laughs> Wanna try lah. <laughs> you are <laughs> down there. Which is lower you think? Your IQ or EQ? <laughs> 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 so yeah. Anyway, that, no, no, but but yeah, it does it does like these these things. Maybe you can learn like take away from today. Like there are different disabilities. Like physical yeah. disabilities is one, but mental disability is a uh, another. Uh, and I think because um, the spirit of the of Paralympics is is for 
inclusivity. Inclusivity. Yeah. So yeah, that, that person over there that's trying to say, you are not equally able. Mm. At some point, there's a grey area that's up to that one person to decide. Yeah, well, or well, that the little <sighs> committee to decide. And they still need to appear inclusive. If not, what's the point yeah. of doing this whole thing, right? Yeah. yeah. The whole trade-off between inclusivity and high performance is the more inclusive you want to be, the less high-end performance you can be. Yeah. So you look at the viewership between Olympics and Paralympics, it's already starkly different. Yeah. What happens when there's no Olympics? Would people still like really watch the Paralympics? Mm. So yeah, like it comes back to hundred thousand. Uh, sorry, one million versus two hundred thousand. I think that okay, like I you know me, like I criticize sports authorities on a number of instances where I feel one that they're not fair. Yeah, 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 exactly. Chill out, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but in this Your case, your mother will worry. Eh? <laughs> to me, it's like if the sport, the sports of soccer got so many fans, got so much money there, right? then the prize pool for, for their awards will yeah. be bigger versus a sport they don't watch like beach volleyball. No, but it's, it's a little bit different in a sense because like football players get paid more for viewership. It's correct because it's their sponsors. Mm. Yeah, but the Olympic Council doesn't pay Singapore when Joseph Schooling wins. All right, so right, this right. is a... This money is not so much thank you for bringing honour and glory to our country. A little bit of that, but I think it's more of to encourage at least to do their best, I guess. In this case, $1 million for a gold medal in the Olympics is the most that is offered anywhere in the world. Mm. If you want to make money from Olympic gold, you, you should be Singaporean because mm. this is way more than what any other country gets. So in that sense, we have this is going right for our athletes. Lah. But and on the argument of whether or not Paralympics should also be $1 million, I think the authorities have gone through a certain thought process and mm. I believe this is their thought process. Lah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Just want to say like massive respect to Paralympians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I think we're really discussing regardless. the merits. Yeah. We, can, we can go in a circle and be really PG all around and there's, like, there's no point Yeah, yeah, I, I think it's good yeah. to you know, have an honest conversation about it. I see why people want it to be the same because I think that's... It's a very... Yes, it, it sends a good message. Mm. You know, we value our Paralympians. Equality, equality. equality and stuff. But it's not so simple. It's really not so simple. Mm. Yeah. So that's what we just want to say. Indeed, unpopular opinion. Mm. We're going to get our ass wet. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. We'd like to extend a huge thank you to Rayon and Vanessa for joining us today. Yeah. And for like speaking the truth. Like, oh right? yeah, for sure. Yes. Like, no whole bars. Um, really honest. And just adding on to a little bit of what I said earlier. Uh, Yes, you know, cases are on the rise, so let's do our part. Uh, you may be eligible for home recovery if you've tested positive for COVID-19. So if you're fully vaccinated between the ages of 12 to 69, have mild or no symptoms and not living with anyone above 80, uh, you'll most likely be on home recovery for 10 days. So stay isolated and um, when it ends, don't suddenly go and meet all your friends. Uh. So stay safe and uh, let's keep everyone safe. And um, if you like what you watch, remember to drop us a sub and a like. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.